Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Smith and today I want to show you very quickly how to use Oracle SQL Developer Data Modeler's search feature to quickly update the properties for multiple design objects. In this case we'll be looking at tables and some column uh, data type definitions. So I'm using version 4.1 which is new as of uh, May 2015 but what I'm showing you uh, was first introduced in version 3.3 .3 of the tool. I have a design already loaded. It's a relational model with several uh, oracle tables. And I have some objects that are defined as number 8. And I need to go change all of these to something else. If I had used a domain or other type of um, definition I could have easily changed it in one place and had that propagate across but sadly I did not so I need to do it manually if I wanted to do it manually I'd have to open first of all I have to look for every single object that had a column type to find using number eight and open it edit it and manually change it but there should be a, a better way to do that so instead of manually changing these, I want to do it all in one fell swoop. So maybe I'll start with just trying to find all of the uh, columns that are defined as a uh, number with uh, precision of 8. So I'm going to hit Control F, which will launch the uh, search mechanism. And we have uh, simple mode, so I could just type um, number and hit search and it would go uh, look across the design and find things where the word number occurred it's finding lots and lots of stuff as I would expect um, I want to look at the advanced search so in the advanced search I can say um, only look into a specific space so here I'm saying in the relational model only look into um, columns and their definitions and properties. And here is the properties I'm going to search on. So I click the Add Property button. And I can search across all kinds of different things associated with the column. But I'm looking for data types. type number. So let's just search very quickly. So it looks like that's getting close. So for example, I should see min and max salary in there somewhere. But I only want the columns with uh, precision 8. So if I come back to the search and say let's add a property So here, min and max salary, which I can see up here, and also a few others. So I could take this list of hits and then manually go change those, but manually isn't a fun thing. So if I hit the properties button, we can see this is actually labeled set common properties. So for the properties that are common across all of the objects in the search results, I can now come down and say I want the data type precision instead of to be 8, to be 6. And there are other things that we could set in here. But this is what I actually want to um, propagate across. I'm going to say apply. And if I do this search again, you 
Nothing's found, and if I set the search to six, it finds what I would expect it to find. So, very quickly um, in your search, set what you want to uh, search on. Make sure your search depth is, or the perspective of the search is set correctly. I've got two search properties here. I'm using an AND. By default, it starts with OR. See, if I was looking for columns to find as number with precision six, I had to toggle that to AND. Hit the search button, your results pop up here. You can turn this into a report, or you can click the properties button to make the changes.